A very quick update to the Nastronomy Smart Telescope pre-processing script. A few days ago, we released version 2.0.3 that included a very new feature that saves time and space for your computer, which is the ability for the script to use compression. And that resulted in some issues with people who either had the script crash on them or maybe they accidentally killed the script or they killed the script on purpose because when the script starts, it sets the compression to be on and then by the time it finishes at the end, it turns it off. So if you don't let it finish, if it doesn't get to the last step for one reason or another, it stays on until you turn it off manually. So in version 2.0.4, it's now an option. So now use compression is a checkbox. So if you turn it on, it'll use compression and then it'll turn off by the end. But the thing to keep in mind is that if you do use compression and then serial crashes or the script crashes or something happens and you have to kill the script, compression will still be on if it doesn't completely finish. So if that happens, the what you need to do is go to preferences under fits options on the left side and then you'll see a fits compression section here and you check it from enabled set it to none and then it'll no longer be compressed so i'll show you what i mean so i have this here so i'm using compression right now my compression is currently off and i'm going to click on run and it was going to delete my old process directory so while it deletes it i'm actually going to click here stop and then stop the python script from running so so let it finish. There you go. So there you go. It failed to send response because it didn't finish. So if I look at my working directory here in the process directory, you'll see that I have fits.fz file. So the fz is the compression file extension. And if I go to serial and I look at preferences, you'll see that fits is now enabled. So if this happens, you just click on none and then re or disable it. But the other enhancement that I made here is, so if I go back to my working directory, if I turn on the script, which again is go to preprocessing smart telescope pp.py. If I run this again without checking this box, like I, you know, so for some reason compression didn't work and I forgot to turn off preferences. If this stays unchecked, it'll actually, so I'm going to kill this again, stop. If I go into preferences, it actually turned it off, right? So I made it so that if you run the script, with it checked, it'll turn it on. If you run it with, without it being checked, it'll turn it off. So I'm hoping that'll clear up some confusion, but again, it's really good to know how to turn it off and on manually. Um, and as always, thanks to the people who have reported it. Thanks to uh, Rich from Deep Space Astro for saying that people are reaching out to him for support on this as well. I had two people between yesterday and today say that, hey, you know, the, the compression never turned off. So yes, if the compression, if the script doesn't finish, it won't turn off. Just wanted to let you know. The other thing, I, it's a minor fix to this, is if I run the script again, in version 2.0.2, I made it so that if you selected Celestron Origin, SPCC was disabled. I accidentally undid that work in version 2.0.3 because of uh, logic somewhere. So now it's fixed again in version 2.0.4. So if you're using Celestron Origin, you cannot do SPCC just because it allows multiple cameras and it's just it just becomes me reinventing the wheel. So it doesn't take much longer to just go to image processing, color calibration, spectrophotometric color calibration, and just doing it manually. And it's a post-processing step anyway. This is a pre-processing script. But anyways, here's thanks to all of my Patreons, patrons on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee supporters, and YouTube members. You're all amazing. If you'd like to support me and the work I do, please check out the links in the description below. Thank you all, and until next time, there's guys.